What's up YouTube, I'm EVScape and welcome back to another video. Today is day number 36 in the 50 day video challenge. We have exactly two weeks left to go after this video. Very exciting. A little upsetting that it's coming to a close, but it had to happen eventually. I can't keep making a video every day for the rest of my life. Otherwise, the content's going to get very dry. But the 50 day video challenge, pump it along. Thank you guys so much for your support so far. Today, we've got episode number six, I believe, of Plane to Main. A lot of good progress in this video, a lot of levels. I'm going to stop messing around. Let's jump into the clips. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, kicking the new episode off with just a little bit of Slayer. Just managed to get myself 77 strength. I'm only training strength for now. I may train up a little bit of attack or defense pretty soon just because I want to get to 85 combat so that I can do Slayer through Neve. However, I may just get 70 prayer. That should get me to 84 combat, I believe. And then I can just train a few more strength levels and then start training through Neve. Uh, as a Slayer, I'm just sort of doing it in between other things, you know? Like, I'll go out and do a few quests and then I'll come do my task and just doing a couple tasks a day and slowly, uh, slowly getting a few Slayer levels getting up there. Um, I'm not really too stressed about like loot or anything at this point. I figure that'll all come a lot later. I don't know what the highest Slayer level you need for a quest is, but I'm just, obviously I'm just going for all max stats, so I'll just keep uh, passively training Hunter on the side, and obviously that's going to train all my melee stats. I'm not going to do Nightmare Zone for max melee, just because I, I'm going to end up doing Slayer anyway, and there's no point going over your 99 in any skill. It's just like, yes, it is more efficient to train up your stats and then do Slayer, but like, I'm gonna do Slayer anyway, might as well. But the thing is with Nightmare Zone, I may end up doing a bit of Nightmare Zone just so I have enough points to imbue all of my rings and stuff like that. Um, just because obviously you get an extra four strength bonus for your Berserker ring, which is huge. But yeah, other than that, I'm not going to be doing Nightmare Zone. I'm just going to be training passively through Slayer. I'm going to finish up this task, and then I'm going to jump back into a few quests. I honestly don't know what quest I'm doing next, but uh, I'm sure you guys will find out in the next clip. All right, here is 58 Runecrafting coming in. Um, just coming towards the end of my loot from 10 hours of Nature Rune Runecrafting video at the moment. I totally forgot to record the start of it, but I started at 32, and now we're at 58. I don't think I'm going to continue training to 60 just because um, it's useless at this point. Like, I have no use for training to 60 at the moment. Um, but I'm eventually going to be going for 77 so that I can do bloods. But yeah, up to 58 now. So I need to get 59 magic to complete the family crest quest so that I can get the goldsmithing gauntlets for a video I'm doing tomorrow. So while I'm alking these 790 uh, magic longbows, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of agility, see if I can't snag up a few... Uh, marks of grace because I also need to get the graceful set. All right, there is 59 magic. I'm not gonna lie, I completely stopped running around the course. It's 1 a.m. right now, and I started 30 minutes ago. I really just wanted to get to bed, so I stopped running around to get the max mage XP per hour. But tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and do the family crest quest, and then I can move on to the video that I'm gonna do tomorrow on the blast furnace. But other than that, after the family crest, we're gonna go ahead and jump into a few more quests. Definitely going to get Elemental Workshop done, finally. All right, there is the Family Crest quest done. We now have the gauntlets. We can turn into Goldsmith gauntlets or Cooking gauntlets, whatever we want. So I can now go ahead and make my Blast Furnace video. After that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into Elemental Workshop 1 and 2 and then just continue down the quest line. There is Elemental Workshop 1 out of the way. Another 5,000 crafting XP. That actually just got me a smithing level. That's nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And now I have an Elemental Shield. That's a good time. If I ever need to go to Wyverns, you know? It's all about, wow, that is a cool animation. I've literally never seen this animation before. Damn, son. All right. We now have completed Elemental Workshop 2. Another 7,500 smithing XP. Another 7,500 crafting XP. That is a crafting level. Next up on the list is Anacra's Lament. We don't have 45 fire making. Willingness to think literally, laterally, and solve puzzles. We don't have that either. But I think we go and get 45 fire making. And then do Anacra's Lament. Or... And we need 30 farming for that. I'm not going to be able to do that because we haven't done the fairy tales yet. All right, we're going to go to get 45 fire making. All right, there is 45 fire making. We can now go and complete Inacra's Lament. 
Uh, I still don't have the willingness to think laterally and solve puzzles, but uh, let's go and get it done. That was probably one of the weirdest quests I've ever had to do, but Anakla's Rament out the way. Anakra Lament. Yes, Anakra's Lament. Got it right. 7,000 crafting, magic, mining, and fire making XP. Does that put us up a fire making level? We got another crafting level. That's good. Oh, 17 arms. And 46 fire making. Very good. What's next on the list? Enlightened Journey. Don't have 30 farming, so I'm not going to be doing that. We're going to move on to the fairy tale quests, which are very exciting. I believe I get a lot of farming XP for doing these. So once I do these, maybe I'll be able to do the Enlightened Journey. I am going to do fairy tale part one. And then I'm going to start Fairy Tale Part 2 so that I have access to the fairy rings. And then we'll move on to the feud because obviously I don't have all of the uh, requirements for this. I will have to get 40 thieving eventually, but for 57 herb lore, it's a big, big ask. I'm just going to clean a bunch of herbs until I get my herb lore level up because I don't like spending money on it. In the meantime, can I take... Are these, are these worth anything? Oh, you know I'm getting an inventory of these before I teleport out. Hell yeah. Quickest money making method AU. I cannot tell you guys how excited and disappointed I got within the space of two minutes because I was like, what the f*** is this camulet? Teleported straight into this room where you can pick up this sandstone, right? And I go ahead and check the price. It's worth 243 coins. So I'm spam clicking, taking a whole inventory. Anyway, it turns out it's worth like one GP on the Grand Exchange. So uh, definitely not the, uh, the number one money making method. Hey you. So I just got up to the point in Fairy Tale where I have to get three items and I have to get some Valencia Moss, which means I need to complete Jungle Potion. What a pain in the ass. So now we're gonna go complete Jungle Potion before we continue Fairy Tale Part 1. I don't think this is some sort of crazy coincidence. I think this is set up. I just got my Valencia Moss and now I get a surprise exam. This was meant to be. Give me that free agility XP. That's what I'm talking about. Only another, you know, 100,000 of those books and we'll be at 99 agility. Take your herb, you filthy animal. That should be the end of the jungle potion. Nice. One quest point. That was actually a pretty easy one. I can now head back to uh, Old Mate in the other quest and uh, finish it. Let's go. All right. There is the fairy tale part one done. Now we're going to go ahead and do the fairy tale part two only up until the part we can use the fairy rings just because I don't have the requirements to finish it all just yet. We'll finish off the quest completely later, but yeah, we need the fairy rings to transport around. So we'll go and do that right now. All right, guys, so I'm currently filming a video of 10 hours of red chin hunting. So you're going to be seeing a few hunter levels coming in soon. Just about to get 66 at the moment, but yeah, gonna do the 10 hours of red chin hunting and then we'll get back to the uh, quest grind. And here is 66 hunter. Does this mean we can do anything? No, classic hunter. God damn it, I missed the level. That's all right, we're on 67 hunter now, 57k to the next level. It's gonna start getting, uh, getting pretty big gaps. I think we'll get 70 in 10 hours, but uh, yeah. Probably, probably gonna get 70 or 71. Woo, so close to missing this one as well, 68 Hunter. I am so bad at this freaking recording thing. I got to 69, he <laughs> Hunter, and uh, missed the level again. <laughs> I'm too busy distracted, writing up budgets and stuff, because I'm an adult and I need to do that. And I uh, forgot that I gained a level in a video game, so. Rip me, 69 Hunter. Another level, another level missed. We're now at 70 Hunter. 71 Hunter coming in, let's go boys. And there is 72 Hunter. Should be getting one more Hunter level and then heading back to do a couple more quests. Uh, we're gonna go get the Fairy Rings as I stated before and then move on to the next ones. Should be uh, getting close to Barrow's Gloves. Not this episode, maybe next episode. Um, should be smashing out a bunch of quest points. So pretty excited to get the Barrow's Gloves, if I'm completely honest with you. Never, ever had Barrow's Gloves in my life. And, you know, been playing this game on and off for 10 years. So excited to get Barrow's Gloves for the first time. All right, there is 73 Hunter coming in. Now we can hunt Black Chins whenever the hell we want. Now we're going to go back and do some quests. Shout out to ba Bud Buddha Budha. Uh, just hops in this world, said g'day, said he's watching the video. So shout out to this guy. But yeah, we're going to head back to the quest now. We're going to go to um, 
In Lightning Journey? No, Fairy Tale Part 2. That's what we're doing. All right, we have reached far enough in the Fairy Tale Part 2 quest that we can now use the Fairy Rings. This is the first time I've ever played this game and used a Fairy Ring. Oh, I can just click on this thing. How about that? So yeah, first time ever using a Fairy Ring. Exciting stuff. Uh, now that we have the Fairy Rings, we're going to be able to access places a lot easier because we have a lot more teleports around the game, which is always nice. On to the feud. We don't have, we do have 30 thieving, and I can kill a 35, a 75 warrior. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. All right, there is the feud quest done. We get 15,000 thieving XP out of that, which is nice. We're up to 37 now. I was just thinking I needed to get 38 for Master Farmers too, so that is brilliant. Uh, I believe we can now blackjack the Menified Thugs, which I don't know if I'm ever going to do that. It's pretty click intensive and. I don't know if I'm about that life, you know? Uh, I think we're going to go complete the fight arena now, and then what's Forgettable Tale? Uh, I haven't completed the Giant Dwarf, but that is coming up. So, what I'll do, fight arena, Garden of Tranquility, don't have 25 farming. So we go fight arena, Giant Dwarf, Forgettable Tale, lit, fight arena done, 12,000 attack XP, we got more thieving XP, we can now thieve Master Farmers, which is nice, because I think I'm going to do a 10 hours of Master Farmers video which could be good all right guys we're gonna wrap up the video there made some pretty decent progress in this video a fair few levels a fair few quests getting done we're getting closer towards those barrows gloves if i had to estimate i would say we're probably going to get barrows gloves in the next episode potentially the one after we'll just have to see how many quests i can punch out this week hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video we are currently 36 days into the 50 day video challenge so another two of these episodes left in the 50 day video challenge but then i'll continue putting them out every single monday after that if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button thank you guys very much for watching today's video i will catch you in the next one tomorrow Take it easy.